Hi there, I'm George Slinkinger, the long my partner here. Taft Price. <laughs> <laughs> we're recording a little weather update. We've just finished up the newscast, and we we're telling a lot of our viewers about uh, the kind of the ups and downs we're going to see the temperatures this week. Yeah, that's right. A typical what we see as we move on into February is we're still in winter time, but we're starting to inch a little bit closer to spring, and this is usually that month where we start seeing these big changes, big ups and big down and big downs in the forecast. I want to show you some. Well, first off, before we get to the actual forecast part, this is just kind of a general summary of what we're tracking. And Taft, no problems today or tomorrow. Yeah, the next couple days we'll be in pretty good shape. It will be on the chilly side today, much warmer for tomorrow, but then as we move on into Wednesday and especially late Wednesday and Wednesday night, that's when we're going to start to see a few problems. And that's why we have the yellow here as a caution. We're not expecting widespread icing or any huge problems, but light precip and temps below freezing means that we could see some slick spots on some of the roads, some of the bridges. I want to show you what we're looking at and Taft, first off, we're just going to run this through tomorrow. A lot of sunshine before we see increasing clouds late tomorrow and Wednesday. Yeah, really not that much going on. A little chilly on our Monday and then Tuesday, a big time warm up in advance of that chance for some wintry weather. You notice we move on into Tuesday midday, no significant problems into Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, no problems at all. But then as we move into Wednesday afternoon, especially Wednesday evening, that's when we're going to start to see some precipitation breakout here in green country. And you can see that on this computer model, this future track. And what is the way we're going to interpret this? There's not a lot of, uh, you hear us talk about energy. What does that mean, energy? Well, it's just kind of looking at the chances that precipitation could form above the ground just kind of based on the flow of the winds and temperatures there's all sorts of things we're looking at this looks like that we're going to see a large area of precip but it's going to be light yeah we really don't have a, a significant storm of any kind really to produce heavy amounts of snow or really heavy precipitation whatsoever so whatever does fall is going to be light whether it's rain whether it's maybe some sleep pelts maybe even some light snow and the accumulations zero in most areas maybe a little bit though off to the north we want to watch it for you because the temps will be below freezing, so any precip we do get Wednesday night and Thursday would stick. And then by th Thursday morning, likely when you're waking up, we're going to see it all moving out. And uh, no problems by a, a mid-morning Thursday and Thursday afternoon. We'll actually have the sunshine coming out. Taft, we were talking about the ups and downs earlier. Here's a great look at it on the seven-day. Yeah, and with our average high temperature running right around 50 degrees or so, you can see those temperatures above and below that average high here really for the next five or six days. Chilly today on our Monday, but tomorrow, look at that, approaching 60 degrees. A south wind, though, it's mm -hmm. going to start to blow pretty strong, though, by Tuesday afternoon. If you just look at the wind here, that kind of tells a story as we, as we go from north to south. So north wind becoming south today. South tomorrow, then back to north late Wednesday, then back to the south on Thursday, south on Friday, Saturday, and then back to the north on Sunday. So uh, we kind of go, our temperatures go as the wind goes. Taft, anything else we want to share with our viewers here this morning? Well, just Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Obviously, if we get a little bit of light snow or maybe a couple of sleep pellets thrown in there, may have to watch for a slick spot or two on the bridges because it's going to be so cold. But again, it doesn't look like a major event for us. So any of those would be very isolated as we move on into Thursday morning. And it looks like if there is any measurable precip, any uh, thing that would accumulate as far as slate and snow that would occur to our north up into Kansas and Missouri, of course. We're here, so we'll let them know if that changes, but don't think we're going to see a big change to that. So I think we're all right. I think we're in pretty good shape as we move on through the week. All right, Taft, nice to see you this morning. You as well. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.